um, this fish. I discovered this fish really just recently, and I thought it was adorable. And I, I there's actually this is a variation of the one the original design. His name, the artist, the paper artist, his name is Junior Jacquet, and he's from Paris, France. He does actually toilet paper roll uh, masks that are absolutely incredible. And this this is this design is uh, attributed to him. He he came up with this idea. It is adorable, and I just can't get enough of this. As you can see, I've been making lots of them. So uh, to start, what you need, and I'm going to just do it with this. Uh, standard weight paper, the double-sided that Phoebe talked about. And the reason um, I'm doing it, it's a little easier to fold, but I really like working with the pure paper because it's it's color core all the way through and it makes for a sturdier finished product. So you can really uh, work this animation, you know, pushing the fish lips together. It just seems to work really nice. So it's, it's a lot sturdier if you use the pure, but uh, it's going to be nice to fold this because you can see what I'm doing because I have, there's two sides to this. If you just have white uh, paper, uh, basically single sided, so you have color on one side and white on the other, that's okay too. You can always use colored pencils or something to mark to make the lips a special color like on these. I colored the lips. so. Um, just by putting some pencil color over it. And I'll show you how I did that at the end. But I'm going to go ahead and I want to start folding. And this is actually the way I do it. There's there's different ways in origami to make something, to divide something into thirds. And I'm going to show you the way that I don't really enjoy doing, but I'm going to show you this is the way that they do it. You kind of create an S. And I'm not so great at this. So you have to make that S shape and you just keep kind of compressing it. And then till you get a pretty tight s until it and then you just make the pinch and that gives you that divider that division and when you fold it you just fold the uh, left edge over to that first that farthest pinch and make that crease and open it up and fold the other side to the crease you just made now that's one way to do the to divide into thirds so I was able to get that nice three, you know, three, looks pretty even, pretty good. Now, paper usually, it's harder to do that on the other side, but I'll show you my little trick. It's not a trick, it's just cheating, but you'll see what I mean. Um, this paper is 15 centimeters uh, wide, you know, it's basically 15 centimeters square. So I have a little ruler here that had more, I, I can, it's an inch ruler and also centimeter ruler. And I'm just gonna mark a tiny, tiny mark right at the five centimeter mark, just a tiny tick. And that is all I need to do. And what I will do now is I'll fold. The first fold is I'm going to take the piece of that's on the farthest from that tick, that little mark I made, and I'm just folding it over. I'm going to crease. And I'm going to take this fold is my next, where I'm going to take my this side. I'm just going to fold it over. So you see I can get that nice third. I can get that into thirds without, without kind of uh, wrestling the paper. So that's just two ways to make get your paper to in, into thirds. So now, what I, what I wanted to mention is there's a right side and a wrong side of this. And I'm trying to remember, <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll find out what color my, the lips will be. I, I forgot already. So what I'm going to do is actually, this fish is going to be a dark blue and the lips will be the light blue. But if I wanted it to be the other way around, I would have my folds going in the other direction. So in fact, I'll just do that real quick. I'm going to just make my folds all going in the different direction or the same direction I'm just reversing the folds because i want my fish to be light blue and the lips to be a dark blue so that's how you'll be able to tell what you, you know what what do you want the lip color and what the fish color will be so there we are so now this is the dominant side this is the side that will be the main fish color so all these these uh, folds are mountain oriented and what we need to do next is I need to make a fold a mountain fold on all four corners of these going outside and these little squares right out here nothing on the inside but just on the outside and the way I do that is I'm going to take the paper and I'm just going to match up the sides a little bit right here just to take the sides match them up and then line it up, make sure it comes to a point. And then I'm just going to crease all the way until the edge of that box, just the edge of that box. You can see the top. So it kind of looks like a tabletop. I'm going to do the same on all of the other three. So I'm just going to take these, 
and make just make those those creases line up make the make that point and then when you do that you could just crease all the way until this part here inter intersects okay so there we go we got the next one so i've got two done do the the uh, next one and you can do it laying down if it's laying on the table you can do it this way as well there's different ways to get to the same place this will actually give probably a more accurate fold and i would just fold all the way until that intersection so i've got that one and i'll do the same on this one i'm just bringing this over and I'm going to line everything up before I make any creases. And then when I crease, I'll just crease to that little intersection right here. So now I've got, I'll just kind of reinforce this. And now I have these four, these mountains. These are all mountains here. There's other mountains too, but we're going to just kind of focus on these right now. So the next step is to take, if you just take, kind of push it a little bit, push the inside. I'm just pushing it down with my fingers, and now I'm just going to press these these uh, these corners together and crease. And what I've just created is a, a valley fold inside that inside that square, that in center square. And then what I'm going to do is I have a valley fold here, mountain fold, mountain fold. So basically, it's, it should be this way. There's a mountain fold here, valley, and mountain. And that's important to be to have that established right now. So I'm going to have that vertical to my, to, uh, I'm orienting it vertically. And what I need to do is make two valley folds from here, from here to here, this intersection here and this intersection here, I'm going to make two valley folds. What I'm going to do is just take this point and I'm going to fold it all the way to the right side of that little inner square. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to make the crease. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to take this right point and fold it to that that point to that intersection right there. Okay, so all these are all done. Now, the next step, and I'm just going to zoom in the camera a little so you can see this next step. Okay, I'll get it even closer. There we are. So that this is going to be done on both of these ends. I'm going to give you this close up so you can see what we need to do is fold this. This point goes right to this intersection, this point right here, just fold that. And open it. And then take the long edge on the left side, it doesn't matter which side, but I'm doing it on the left. Fold it up to that crease I just made. And I'm unfolding it. I'm going to take the same, the opposite edge, I'm going to fold it to that, that crease, same crease that I folded the last edge to, and I'm unfolding. Now you'll see there's this little point here, and then there's this intersection right up, right where my finger is. I'm going to take that little point, and I'm just going to fold it up to that intersection. And I'm not going to unfold it, I'm just going to keep it folded. Now what I need to do now is I'm not, I need to take these where I, these creases need to be f just folded over. So I'm not creating any new crease, but I'm going to lift, I'm going to push this one out a little bit and I'm going to flatten it. I'm not making new creases. I'm just flattening the existing creases and then letting this little wedge stick up. That's the, that's the lip. That's one of the lips. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just turning it over and I'm going to repeat it on the other side. So they basically it's going to be opposite of what I just did. So we're going to fold this little point goes up to that intersection. And I'm going to open it, take this left side, fold it up. And I will open it, take this right side, fold it up to the same crease and unfold. Now this little point is going to be folded to this intersection right there and what i'll do is i'm going to make that a valley right now i'm just going to make this easier i'm going to make that into a valley so that little corner is going to kind of push toward me and then i'm going to fold those creases down i'm not creating new ones but i'm just folding them to flat and that's how it should look so you can see on how it looks 
and I'll just turn it around so you can see that is how this should look. So now I'm going to zoom it out a little bit so you can see a little bit better when I do make the fish body or you can now all the pre folding is done. We've created the folds that are needed to make this thing come together. What you'll notice is you'll see these are mountains. This will be the valley. You've got all these mountain folds. Basically, you're just going to collapse everything into it's just going to happen magically. But don't, don't make new creases. Uh, what I like to do is I'll, this is, I want to reinforce that these are mountains on both of these ends here. Let's just make sure those are mountains. The crease is facing you on both of these. This is probably the most important thing to make it, it lots, uh, you know, much easier. And just make sure that your folds are all, you know, all your valleys and mountains are nice and ready to go. What I'm going to do is take my fingers and I'm just going to take these ends. And I'm going to press back basically on what I already had. No new creases are being made. I'm just pressing. And I'm going to turn it over. And you can see when I do that, I've got this is, uh, it's all flattened. Here's the lips. There, there are the fish lips. They're all ready to go. Now what we need to do is to work on the tail part a little bit on the back part. So I'm going to just show you how we do that. So what we do is we open this actually we have these little these are the tail we're going to fix this we're going to make this more narrow and more compact but we're also going to make it so that the fish can be more animated so what we're going to do is with this down i'm going to take this edge and i'm going to fold it up to this horizontal crease you'll see that horizontal midsection of the fish and i'm going to fold it and i'm not going to i'm just going to uh, take it and fold it over so basically, I just kind of did a roll fold. So that's how that would look. So basically, what I did is I'm going to do it. I'm going to just undo it to show you again. I fold it up to that horizontal crease, and then I'm just rolling it over. So this is how it will look. So I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to take the fish, uh, this whatever we call it, <laughs> tail or a, whatever it is. I'm going to just fold it up so that I can do the next step. I'm going to fold this up and then, or actually I'm not doing any new creases, I'm just turning that. And I'm going to take that, e that edge and fold it to meet this air, this crease here. I'm going to roll it over. So now what we have is, this is how we should look here. Is it all, it's, it's pretty much, it looks exactly the same on both sides. Okay, so we're almost done. I'm so excited because these are so cute. So what you have here, now we're just gonna work on this, ta this tail section and I'll get it a little bit closer even. So you'll notice on this, you'll see a crease that's already here on both sides, you actually can see this. And what you wanna do is there's a little, just kind of open it a little bit, just slightly open this little triangular flap area here. You don't wanna open it too far, but just enough so that you can take this and on the existing crease, you're just gonna fold it over. And you can see this little triangle comes out. That's one side. So I'm gonna turn it over. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this piece right here. I'm just folding it over, not making any new creases, just folding it over. And now my fish is ready to be animated. So I'm just gonna open them up. And what you do is you just take your thumb and your forefinger, you know, on these this, these parts here, and then I'm just going to take my finger. Now, when you open it, you press that. You'll notice there's this section inside. There's a folded, um, I don't know, a folded part. You just move that to one side or the other. It doesn't matter. And take your fingers and kind of mold it a little bit. And there you've got your fish, and it's ready to go. And then you can make a. This is a out of six inch paper or five and seven eighths. And then you can make one out of three inch paper. And you've got this cute little baby one and it actually becomes a fish food <laughs> or a fish pocket. But these, these are very versatile little fish. If you want to put eyes on them, what I did with this, I really like doing this. I could have taken a marker and just marked it. But what I would do is I would mark it wrong on both sides. So what I did was I took a a standard office, you know, punch, hole punch, 
and I just punched eyes and it gives the impression of the eye without having to draw, but you can draw as well. And what I liked about that is I was able to get an even, the eyes are placed evenly on either side, and I like that. Um, you can also decorate the lips. Let's say if you had only white uh, paper, um, and you could take something, just use a, something like a scrap piece, and you can take a colored pencil, color the lips in, which is what I did with all of these. Um, just color it in with a colored pencil or a marker and you can have the lips could be any color you want. You can make it in shiny metallic papers or anything like that. And I just want to show you, oh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see all the combinations of fish that you can make. Um, here, this is with the pure paper uh, colored on, on both sides, or it actually just colored, I just used the colored pencil. And this is a little sturdier. The, our pure paper just makes for a much sturdier fish. and Here's another one with the paper that I, the same package of the paper that this came out of. So really they don't have to have any red lips. It can be any color you want. They're just so cute. And our most recent paper that we just, just came in, it's brand new. Um, it's a watercolor series. And I love this paper because the new colors, they're double-sided. And this one is a really beautiful dotted fish, but this one I like because it's a catfish. You can see those are cats on there. So I'm naming this a catfish. So that's, you can just have so much fun with these and make a whole uh, school of fish <laughs> and you can keep, just keep doing it. And there's, you can play games. I think I actually just came up with an idea of that, you know, playing a game where you can pick the fish up. Um, you, there's just so many things you can do and you can have lots of fun. That's the most important thing is having fun. So that's my demo. Can any, does anybody have any questions or want me to do anything over? <laughs> Um, we got some comments just on how cute these these uh, these fishies are, and Hitomi added that they're so cute, and she loves the geometry uh, slash the math of the folding, which is a great point. Yes, yes. Actually, this di the diagram for this fish, the original diagram, it doesn't look the same. Actually, um, the it doesn't have a seam here. So, but there, it's a math. But it is a math book, and it is the one by uh, Mr. Um, uh, Jacques, it's the it's it's a little different. It's a, this is a variation of that, but the, I believe the folds are on the inside instead of the outside here. But um, it is a book about math, so I, I was from. I have to. I could probably put the link up when I find it later. I'll be happy to share that link. <laughs> I can't stand. It. Oh, there's one that one. There we are. It's a baby. I forgot there was a baby. <laughs> I just that's the best part is you can actually make the bigger one and then just make the little babies and just put them in and you have a fish pocket now so. <laughs> <laughs>